The property has finally closed. I would come from you live in front of there, but I don't know that the new owner would appreciate that. Hey guys, we are excited to bring you back to the finale of the Puritan Project. Last time we were here, we had just had the, all the landscaping installed and it looked great then. And since then we have had so much rain, it has really allowed it to take root. And so we're real happy about that. Our only uh, ugh every time we come is dealing with some mangoes from this huge mango tree. So we've had some branches chopped off in hopes we can deal with that issue. And so so um, the fence went in, we had a fence here. Well, we didn't have a fence here. We had a place where a fence should be here. And, um, and now we can close this off and make it more private. This looks really great. Like I said, all of the rain has really helped. And so uh, this pergola, if you can recall from the beginning, had a lot of rotten wood and we simply replaced the rotten wood. We felt it was worth keeping because um, it's just so cute and it's a nice outdoor space. And we put on a clear plexiglass ceiling and added the Edison lights, which even if I turn them on for you now, you can't really tell, but it is really um, cute in the evening and adds a lot of charm to the space. And so as we head back here, I'm not gonna take you back that way because this is about all we can see. We've got uh, the little barbecue area and this has all been pressure washed and cleaned up. And it just, it just really changes the look and feel of what we've got here. And so now I'm gonna take you inside because the stagers have just left and I'm excited to show you how great it looks. All right, so now we're gonna come on inside where the AC is on and it feels great. And um, we like to stage the properties when they're done and it makes such a difference. As you can see, it looks amazing. And so we are at 99%, uh, which is good enough to get it on the market because we don't wanna keep waiting, right? Because time costs us. And so um, as you can see, all the baseboards are in now. We've got some great light fixtures. We replaced the ceiling fans and um, we're actually not going to put in um, some of the fixtures um, and allow the buyers to determine what they're going to do. And so from the inside, you can see that the patio looks so much better than it did before and it just looks really cute to the eye. And most likely whoever buys the house will put their own window treatments in and decorate it according to the way that they want it to look. And I'm really happy with the way the kitchen came out. So our end panel came in the wrong size and we finally had it delivered this morning. We'll be finishing this off. And this looks really great, getting the uh, handles on the door. And as you can see, it just looks amazing. If you, I don't know if you remember, but these things were like um, a, a woodish color and this was all yellowish and another color. And so uh, by painting it all white, it really lightens it up. And so now we have a nice big open feel. And um, although we could probably put a little bistro set in here, we also have a dining room right here. So our stager felt the best use of this room was to throw the desk and the chair in, as you can see. And then some people think this is the laundry, but it's actually a pantry. And uh, so that's nice to have. And then um, this area was turned into like a little bar area, came out really, really cute. All right, we're gonna go down the hall now and check out the bedrooms and the bathrooms. So as you recall, uh, we were very fortunate that our bathrooms were already pretty nicely remodeled. So we just had to replace pretty much one and a half piece of tiles. Um, and fortunately, there was an extra box of this particular tile in the garage, which could have potentially saved us a fortune in um, buying, doing a whole new bathroom here. And so as you can see, the stagers um, put in the items here, did a really cute job. And um, I might, just for the sake of brightening it up a little bit more, bring in some, um, very light, light um, rugs for the floor. And we just wanna brighten it up and lighten it up. And so um, our bedrooms are all done now. Well, I think we were pretty close to being done when we were here before. And so, um, but it's, everything's beautiful now. It's cleaned up, the finished product, all painted. I love the, the colors that we went with. 
and um, just looks really nice. And so um, what staging also does is helps people to see that their furniture will fit in the space, you know? Um, our laundry room is finished now. Um, and let's see if we have some lighting in here. And so just by painting the whole thing white um, and putting the flooring in here too, it, it was just a concrete floor when we um, picked up the house. And so, you know, nothing fancy, just adding um, a little bit of square foot of the, the flooring can change everything too. And then our second guest bedroom is right here. And again, um, it's all finished up here. looks good, uh, just like the other um, bedroom that I just showed you. Nice tall baseboards, very, very trending look. Uh, including the color. So we're real happy with the way that this came out. And then I'm going to take you into what now is almost one of my favorite rooms in the house since it's been staged. It's amazing to see how different the room looks. And you can tell the difference in my sound, right? When, when there's furniture in the room. And so how amazing this looks with furniture in here. And so somebody can actually see, wow, there's room for my king size furniture. And um, we had to replace the the closet, uh, shelving, and the doors in this room, they were, if I would have told you how they were done before, yeah, that was hysterical. So, um, but it looks amazing. And then uh, lastly here, we are going to check out the master bath. And fortunately, we really didn't have anything that had to get done in here uh, with all the travertine and frameless glass shower door. Um, and you know, again, once you clean it up and, and we painted these walls in this light, light, uh, white ish color, um, which it was yellow before, which didn't look great with the travertine because it really made the travertine look orangey, but it came out great now, especially when you add that staging. So guys, even if you don't stage like with furniture, you've got to at least stage the kitchen and the bathrooms with some items. It really helps uh, show, you know, use and lifestyle, what you have in mind. And so when you can uh, definitely stage your patio area too. So I am off to probably Walmart to find um, some more items to stage our front uh, mat area. And when you step inside and a few things for the patio and that will wrap it up, we will hit the market tomorrow and be able to share the numbers with you when we're, we've got a finish, finish story here. Hey guys, welcome back. Guess what? The property has finally closed and now I have some legit numbers to share with you. You've probably been wondering because I've talked about the numbers throughout the project and what our clients are spending and going to earn and how we double dip and what we're going to earn. And I've got those numbers right here with me so I can share them with you. Now our clients paid $295,000 for this property. They spent approximately $55,000 on renovations. And now that includes staging and all of the things that we talked about throughout the project. Then they sold it for $415,000 and grossed approximately $65,000. Now for our clients who don't live off of the profits, but put their money to work, they earned an incredible return on investment on that cash outlay. Now we love catering to clients that don't necessarily need to live off the profits, right? Because they make great money on their money and it's easier to work with clients like that. We love that. Now for us, we're investors and we also get paid to be the hands and feet based on our experience and our network and all the things we can bring to the table to do this for others, to basically duplicate what we do for ourselves for others. And so in this particular scenario and project, we got this house under contract originally for $275,000. We then wholesaled it by assigning our contract to our clients for $295,000, the price that they paid. So that means we earned a $20,000 assignment fee. Now, all of these things are transparent. Obviously, I'm here on social media sharing this with you. And then we oversaw the project. And of course we have fees for our services and things like that, that we charge, which are included in our clients numbers. Ultimately, when the property sold for $415,000, we earned another 3% selling commission for that property, which took us to a little over another $12,000 all in all our profit on overseeing this deal, wholesaling it to our client and working, doing what I absolutely love to do, we earned a little over $32,000 doing it. And so you see there's a nice spread on this deal for everybody to make a nice 
profit. And at the end of the day, we provided a great property for a brand new buyer who moved in and loves it. So I hope you continue to watch, subscribe and hang in there and learn all you can so that you can enjoy your piece of the pie when you start investing.